Hi, Natalia from Feeding Bites is here and today we will talk about choosing the best store-bought baby food for your baby. With a dizzying array of choices on supermarket shelves and confusing nutrition labels, it is hard to make the best decision when choosing best food for your baby. So what should you look at when choosing baby food in your store? What are the things that you should be mindful of? First of all, read the ingredient list. The main ingredient is listed first and the least ingredient is listed last. So if spinach is listed third and applesauce is first on that nutrition ingredient label, that means your baby is not getting as much leafy greens from that puree. Second principle, choose the brand with the most calories and hence the most food per unit of weight. Third principle, avoid baby food puree. Instead, feed your baby more nutritious, plain fruit products. And your baby doesn't need any fruit juice either. How can you keep your baby safe when feeding her store -bought? fresh in the refrigerator for about 24 hours. Food made with only plain fruits and vegetable should be safe for about two days in your refrigerator. You can also freeze baby food for a month or two. Six months for plain fruit and vegetables might also work. But be mindful that freezing may, ch may change the baby food consistency. Very important principle, no dipping in a jar. If you store leftover baby food in the refrigerator, make sure you didn't dip your baby spoon in it during feeding, or you will invite bacteria to grow. Instead of dipping it in a jar, scoop a small amount of food into a small bowl and feed your baby from that. Making sense of stages. All the manufacturers except Earth's Best market three categories of baby food. First stage, second stage, and third stage foods. First stage foods are intended to be the first solid foods that an infant eats, usually sometimes at around six months of age. Second and third stage Most second stage foods are sold in four to four and a half ounce jars and packages. Third stage foods are sold in 6 ounce size. So the size grows together with your baby's appetite. The composition and nutritional value of most second and third stage cereal, fruit and vegetable products of the same name are very similar. The principal difference is that the third stage dinners tend to have a coarser texture and may contain chunks of food. Now it is really important to be guided by your baby's skills and not by your baby's age when determining what stage she is ready for. Some six-month-old babies may be ready for finger foods while other ten-month-old babies still need more time to practice their skills with purees before moving on to more texture. Also, the serving size of baby foods is a rough suggestion and nothing else. Babies have different appetites and the best thing parents can do is to allow them to eat as much or as little as they want. What are the ingredients in baby food that are best to avoid? Your baby doesn't need sugar and starchy fillings such as tapioca, starch that some baby food manufacturers use. Both are nutritionally void and may replace more nutritious food from your baby. Beach nut and earth best do not add sugar or starchy fillers to any single or mixed fruit or vegetable baby food. Gerber and Heinz add sugar and starchy fillers to over half of the second and third stage fruit and several second stage vegetables. For example, Gerber adds sugar to 55% and chemically modified tapioca starch to 50% of its second and third stage fruits. Heinz adds corn syrup for sugar to 57% and chemically modified starch to 48% of its second and third stage fruits. 
Gerber and Heinz also add flour to mix and cream vegetables. Yikes. That's all I wanted to share with you today about choosing the best store-bought baby food for your baby.